Welcome back. I am joined by a um, friend of the show. Uh, he is a uh, new member of the uh, Greg Barron Show Extra Super Team. Extra Super Team! Um, organizational expert Peter Walsh. And, and uh, uh, I wanted to talk to you. You have this incredible ability to just look at people's lives and, and want to organize them or help them get organized. Like, how did you get this way? Everyone has one life, and I mean, it's kind of your chant too, really. Right, yeah. Um, and that is, the only person who can make your life great is you. Yep. And if you wait too long, it's over. Yeah, And that's, really I mean, true. it's kind of, is that yeah. too heavy? No, it's not heavy at all. I say it all the time. Yeah. It's, a, it's an incredibly short ride, really, yeah. even if you live it out, you know, 90 years, it moves quickly. Yeah. And people spend a lot of time stuck in relationships, sure. which is sort of my speciality, yeah. you know, my, my speciality. Yeah. You know, the yeah. whole reason that I wrote, he's just not that into you, is to go, look, why are you wasting time? Yeah. You know what I mean? It, truly, your life is going to, you're going to wish that you hadn't spent seven years trying to make this guy into something he's not, right? True. And that is also a little bit about, orga it's, that's also like it's, organizing. Look, you're like, look, it, you look at your life and you have a mess here. I'm not about organization for organization's sake. It's about living a richer, fuller life by not filling your life with a whole lot of junk. But, That's what it's about. But yeah, right on. Why do you think? Tell me then how people end up like Wade. How do people end up like that? And you do this all the time. How do people go? You know, because Wade is a good guy. Absolutely. He's a great guy, a really sweet mm. guy. I mean, not, there's, there's nothing wrong mm. with him, you know, personally. Yep. But how did? How does he get there? How does he end up there? The thing about you know, Americans is that we're raised, you're raised, very aware of your rights. It's a big thing in this country. But I don't think there's enough emphasis on responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And Wade's a great example. Across the country, yep. what we see is people not taking personal responsibility and not taking responsibility for people they see around them. And that's why one life, look after, you know, look after yourself, look after your family, look after those you see who are less off than yourself. And again, it all comes back to me, to being organized enough that you can stay focused enough to do that. It's right. all interrelated. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a big believer in house in order. You're, you're really? house in order. You're, you're no good to anybody else. So just one quick thing before we go. So there's someone sitting on their couch right now yep. and their life is not the way they want uh -huh. it to be. What, what do you say to them to, to get them off the couch? No one will change it except yourself. And that can increase despair. But the thing is, my grandmother used to say, the only way to eat an elephant is one mouthful at a time. And so start small. Small steps every day in any problem area will eventually get you to where you want to be. Start small, be consistent. Peter Walsh, everybody. We'll be right back.